हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल मेकिंग आईटी सिंपल दिस वीडियो इज़ अबाउट फॉरेन की इन डीबीएमएस लेट मी टेल यू अ रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल फर्स्ट लेट अस कंसीडर अ कंपनी देर विल बी वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड देर विल बी मेनी एम्प्लॉयज वर्किंग इन दैट कंपनी नो देर इज़ अ रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज टू एंटिटीज लाइक एम्प्लॉय ए इज वर्किंग इन रिसर्च डिपार्टमेंट एम्प्लॉय डी इज वर्किंग इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग डिपार्टमेंट employee ghi is working in distribution department and so on for every employee and department similarly in the database there will be two individual tables employee table and department table now each table has a single primary key which is used to uniquely identify individual tuples or records in that table now the relation that we discussed between the employee and department how will we define this relation in database this is where foreign key helps let me tell you how we need to specify either department details in employee table or employee details in department table one department will have many employees so we cannot specify all those employees in one department this cannot be an option but we can specify one department in many employees this is the optimal solution now do we need to specify all details of department in employee table we know that just by using a primary key we can identify each individual record from the table if we have department id 4 we can know its details like its name is distribution department and its department head is d so by just specifying department tables primary key in employee table we can show the relation between employee and department for example employee k has department id 3 department id 3 belongs to production department so in simple words employee k is working in production department now for referencing the relation we used one table's primary key attribute in another table this attribute is called as foreign key which is used to specify relation among tables In previous videos I have explained about primary key super key and candidate key if you have not watched them definitely do check them links are present in the description below so let us see the definition of foreign key the definition states that an attribute or set of attributes in a relational database table that provides a link between two tables is called a foreign key as we saw the example in the start in this department id is the attribute that provides a link or relation between two tables in this case employee and department table it refers to the field in a table which is primary key of another table in our example department id which is foreign key in employee table is referring to department id which is primary key in department table more than one foreign keys are allowed in a table for example there can be another project table and project id will be referenced in employee table project id will be specifying relation between employees and project so now employee has two foreign keys one referring to primary key of department table and another to primary key of project table so there can be more than one foreign keys in a table foreign key attribute can contain duplicate values like in our example two employees may work in same department so the foreign key will have duplicate values present foreign key maintains referential integrity in database this is a very important point in foreign key concept let us understand what is referential integrity so what exactly is referential integrity as we have seen before that foreign key attribute references the primary key of another table so the data in both these columns must be consistent and accurate For example here department id is r1 2 3 and 4 and in foreign key column there is a record present with department id 5 there is no consistency present in the database as there is no record for department id 5 then in which department is this employee working there is no consistency in reference data this consistency and accuracy of data within a reference data is said to be referential integrity and this is maintained by using a foreign key attribute let us understand with example 
there are two tables department table and employee table employee table has the foreign key referencing the primary key of department table therefore this table is called referencing table and department table whose primary key is referenced is called as reference table when we insert update or delete data from reference table there is a risk of violating the referential integrity the consistency may be lost for such cases there are some rules associated with referential integrity let's see how they work first we will check insertion in reference table a new department is added in the company and record of the same is inserted in the department table will this violate referential integrity the answer is no there can be a new department where there are no employees working currently insertion in reference table causes no violation you can insert as many records in reference table without losing referential integrity second case we will check is deletion what if we delete a record from reference table let's say we delete a record of production department from the table will this violate referential integrity yes it will violate referential integrity understand this situation we have deleted production department record from department table but we have referenced it in the employee table so now if there is no department present with department id 3 for which department are these employees working there is no reference of department id 3 this violates referential integrity so how can we avoid this one solution can be that once you delete a record from reference table manually delete all records reference to the deleted record from referencing table but as i said before there are some rules these rules can be used to resolve this situation first is set to null if you use this whenever the data from reference table will be deleted in our case production department the value in the referencing records will be set to null this means as production department is removed these employees are currently not working in any department another rule is cascade if you use this and we delete the record from reference table all the referencing rows will also be deleted from referencing table automatically this means if we delete production department all employees in the production department are also deleted third rule is no action if you use this when you will try to delete a row from reference table whose reference is present in the referencing table the system will disallow the delete operation and throw an error and no action will be performed so deletion of data from reference table may cause violation it will not cause violation every time for example if we delete deployment record there is no referencing record for deployment department so this will not cause violation therefore may cause and solution on that are as we discussed on delete set null on delete cascade and on delete no action third operation is updation what if we update record from reference table if we update the department name or department head there will not be any violation of referential integrity because these columns are not referenced but we up update department id which is referenced in employee table as a foreign key then there will be a violation for example if we updated department id of development department and changed it to 5 now in employee table these two employees are working for department id 2 but in department table now there is no department I, with id 2 this is violating the referential integrity therefore update also may cause violation same rules that we used for deletion can be used here on update set null so when we update department id to 5 the referencing values will be updated to null on update cascade when we update department id to 5 all referencing values will also be updated to 5 automatically on update no action when we try to update department id to 
no updation will be performed and system will throw an error so when we perform insertion deletion or updation on reference table these scenarios may occur and these rules are used to handle the violation of referential integrity that's all for this video hope you all understood the concept of foreign key and referential integrity if my videos help you in clearing the concepts leave a like and share the video with others in need and for more such videos subscribe my channel making it simple and press the bell icon to get latest video notifications see you in the next video thank you